If you want to make this election about restoring American greatness, you already have that president. And we are going to run a campaign of diversions and distractions and distortions. You know, Americans have always been diminished by false promises and weak leadership. That's our destiny. And many of those who are fortunate enough to have a job are working harder for less. That's our destiny. But it's the best America can do. My course is very different than that. To have government take away the rights and the freedoms of the American people. If this election is a bidding war, then I hope you'll join us. I believe America's role as leader in the world is a thing of the past. The American dream is not owning your own home. I am convinced we're going to see a resurgence in the American economy, but that's a theme for another day. One graduate has said that he completed his degree in only two terms, Clinton's and Bush's, but he insisted instead that and be in the middle. He was assured by people of influence that even with his prison record, a man with his connections and experience could still live very comfortably. That said, your values will not always be the object of public admiration. Marriage is a relationship between one man and one woman and one woman and one woman and one woman and one woman. And heaven knows there were days that we needed a lot of comfort. I, I put this he has one thing he did not do in his four, first four years. He said he's going to do in the next four years, which is to raise taxes. Major government programs, Social Security for, for those that are in retirement, people who rely on Social Security, I'm going to eliminate the program. Well, for instance, Medicaid, if someone has a heart attack, they sit in their apartment and, and die. Change to Medicare, a private plan. <laughs> Lately, I've found myself thinking about life in four-year stretches. What the next four years might hold for me, of course, is sometimes treated as a problem, something America is stuck with. 